Welcome back, beautiful, for another episode of Maddie Doll Dolls. Yeah, we'll go with that. Today we're talking about Rainbow High, which is a new line of fashion dolls that, um, I don't know if you've seen them. You can find them on Amazon, Target, Walmart. I got mine off of Amazon. So let's do a review of that. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this is my uh, Walmart app, and they actually have a couple of the Rainbow High dolls available for pickup in my area. So we've got Sunny, Violet, and Ruby, and I think, yep, that's the only three they have. So let's check out Sunny. Here she is, $26.88. It has product details available for pickup, two outfits. Very cute. So look at her. How could you resist her? Of course she's the one that I got. And then they have, you know, these are all the ones they have available. They do have the one hair styling kit. Um, I think it was a little more expensive to get the one where you could dye her hair. Um, but it looks like that's not available from Walmart. That one actually sold out really quickly. So yeah. On Amazon and everywhere else, they're about $26, $27. Um, they have six dolls. Oh, obviously rainbow colors. I picked the yellow one. It's a Sunny. I think she's Sunny Madison. And I picked her because she has major Sailor Moon vibes. Um, she is adorable. Here she is. Oh, the light. So I'll probably do a little uh, close-up of her so you can get really good close details. This is the box. The box is stunning. They put a lot of effort and work into this box, guys. It's beautiful. It's shiny. The dolls are articulated with swivel hips and all kinds of stuff. I'm so tempted to take her out of the box, but if you watched my Monster High video, you know that uh, most of these package dolls like this, I love keeping them in the box because... It keeps everything so intact, their hair, everything stays beautiful. Also, I have a daughter, and if they're in the box, she knows she can't open them, so she leaves them alone. So I'm like, leave it in the box. But she's so cute, Sunny Madison. Look at you. She's also one of the few, like, tan dolls I feel like they make. She, I, I think in the pictures people are complaining because they want her to be darker. Um, it's hard to tell from this lighting, but she has a pretty nice tan, a nice caramel color. She has beautiful green eyes, so they're cutout eyes, so they're, you know, check that out. Mine doesn't have any, um, defects or anything like that. Some people were complaining about the eyes being put in wrong because they are, oops, baby, be careful. It's my daughter. Uh, some of the eyes, I think it's the purple one that people are complaining that one eye is higher than the other. Um, she doesn't have any issues with that. Um, I love her outfit. Her jacket is adorable. She has this jean and other jean jacket combo here that I'm tempted to see her in because it has a little bustier top. But again, I think I even may buy a second one just to take it out. <sighs> yeah. $26 is not a bad price for this, honestly, because of there's a lot of work that went into this doll. There is some controversy with this doll, however, uh, with stolen fashion. So the designer of this doll took famous fashion items. I'm sure you've seen like the butterfly girl, her butterfly shoes. Um, the green one looks a lot like a Billie Eilish wannabe. So that's a major controversy, but they're adorable. And since, um, we're still unsure about the Monster High dolls. There was supposed to be some kind of release in 2020, but here we are September and no release. No dolls, no pictures. So it's up in the air whether M Mattel is actually going to come out with any new Monster High dolls. I wish that they would because me as an adult collector, I would buy them. Bring them. You can have my money. Give me the dolls. As long as they're good quality and not like the reboot that they had the last time because uh, that they were okay. Some of the dolls were like kind of cute, but I liked the original Monster High dolls better. They had a more mature looking faces and they were just overall 
better well made. I, you know, they cheapened the dolls down a little bit when they did that reboot. This, however, is definitely not a cheapened down doll. She's adorable. They, the clothes quality is amazing. I hear that they fit a lot of different dolls. Now, um, they're not going to fit any of my ball jointed dolls because they're standard size and mini standard size, but they might fit a 1-6 doll because that's close to a Barbie size. And, uh, yeah, I mean, really, if you had one of those dolls and you were looking for a good fashion for her, that w it would be cheaper to buy this doll and use her clothes on your ball jointed doll then purchase the clothes separately so i mean that in itself is makes this doll like a super great deal all right rainbow high here i come here's the first one i don't know i'm still just debating on getting more of them let me know what you guys think in the comments did you already get your doll and uh yeah they've been spotted at local walmart's now so you don't even have to order them online if you don't want to but you know pandemic so see you guys next time I want to do a close-up of her. I'll turn her. Packaging. This holographic packaging is amazing. Look at her. Adorable. Her rainbow shoes. These are the other shoes she comes with. These heels. And her second outfit is this jeans. Jean top and bustier top. Which I'm sure she looks really cute in. But I'm still on the fence about taking her out or whether I should buy a second one to unbox. If you guys would like to see an unboxing, go ahead and like the video and let me know, hey, you should buy a second one to unbox her and actually see her. Yeah.